from? Uh, I think this doesn't matter. Who do you admire the most? I don't admire anyone. No, I don't want to you be anyone. No, 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 no. There's no cartoon characters, no armor. Do you have anything to say to someone trying to start out in this bodybuilding, watching you, a fan? One of the biggest, baddest bodybuilders you'll ever lay eyes on, Nasser El Sombardi. Tell uh, uh, please the lady that I'm heavy that she didn't ask any weird stuff. Yeah. Like uh, it was yeah. asked for Ronnie Coleman yeah. Yeah. with spiders yeah, and yeah. monkeys. And I really appreciate that. To Today, no, no spiders, no spiders and no monkeys. I show only my arm, okay? All right, this is who Nasser really is. It's classic Nasser. You can tell he's probably annoyed because he's on some strict diet. So I'm hungry, uh, and I train hungry. He ain't giving much respect to the lady interviewing him. He just wants to bounce out of there. She doesn't really, never really respected women too much anyways. And in typical, like, nasty, ar uh, arrogant Nasser fashion, okay, we get a true sense of who he was and this is like total classic Nasser. Do you need to show the judges that will beat everyone else? Oh, you can't answer this. Okay, uh, I can start talking? Yes. Well, I don't know. I, no, it's not. Tell me what it's about. No, no, it, it sounds good, believe me. Okay, but I, 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 I will stop you if it's not Okay. One of the biggest mass monsters to ever grace the world. Dudes like the ultimate beast in the game. I mean, NASA is, is fantastic. He is one of the few bodybuilders who believed that Ronnie Coleman could be beaten. Ronnie Coleman? who has the Mr. Olympia title, is about 10 to 20 percent ahead of us. So he has definitely the edge, but it doesn't mean that he's uh, unbeatable or not defeatable. So, and I'm not coming to the show just to, to see how somebody wins. I like to be definitely up there. Nasser El 285 pound Nasser El Sonbati. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> sport is almost kind of brutal because you have to be consequent you have to have a lot of discipline you have to be dedicated and uh, you have to work until the last minute until you are already on stage uh, willing to sacrifice a lot of things if you are uh, a competitive bodybuilder and you have a kind of weird lifestyle you can't make it It's rainy, if it's cold, if your girlfriend broke up with you or if your boyfriend broke up with you, you have to go to the gym. Otherwise, uh, there are no results coming. Months of 12 months on a diet, and then people always ask you, how are you feeling, whatever. I feel always the same, my training is always the same, my training wasn't different to the year 92, or uh, my diet wasn't different uh, to, to the year 91. It's always the same. I think it's my 56th show so i've been competing in over 45 uh, pro shows and people always ask me in the diet how i'm feeling i feel normal i'm not a psycho case or a nut case um, to investigate all the time uh, how i'm feeling every 15 or 20 minutes and um, sometimes i wish people don't know that i'm getting ready for a contest otherwise uh, they wouldn't ask me all these uh, 
questions which are really not relevant. Nasser weighed 325 pounds. The scales couldn't even handle it. But he was massive, and I look at him now, and I look at today's lineup, and I still look back and think, and I'm not going to sit there and criticize today's era, but like I can't believe how big he was back then. I mean, he was an absolute beast, huge and totally ripped. You know which question I don't like either? Is a lot of people who are not too familiar with bodybuilding. Most people aren't. They ask me, so you are a bodybuilder? I said yes. And then they ask me, hmm. Are you working besides that? Do you have a job? But these people don't understand to be on the level where I am right now and the other top 15 in the world. You have to do it full professionally and I'm a professional since 1990 and full professionally I do it since uh, 94. I'm 6 of 12 months on a diet. If you ask me if I'm doing something besides that, what I don't realize is you have to be 24 hours a bodybuilder. You don't have a off season. Uh, I, you speak about off season, but in off season you have still to train. It's not like in football, on baseball, where you take one, two, three, four, five months off. Um, it's quite differently. If you don't train a muscle for 96 hours or for five days, the muscle is shrinking, so you're forced to train all the time. In the 96 German Grand Prix, NASA totally overshadowed Yates. And in the same event, he made Ronnie Coleman look small too. When people ask me if bodybuilding is a hard sport, I would say yes, because it's one of the few sports where you go uh, hungry to a working place and I train hungry, I leave the gym hungry, I go to bed hungry and I do this, like I said before, six months of 12 months and you don't have too many professions where you go hungry to a working place. It was three weeks before the Olympia. It was like August, I remember the date, August 19th, 1995. And I watched Nasser guest pose and I couldn't believe how big he was, number one, and number two, how big he was that far out from the show. And like, it seemed like he was holding a lot of water. I remember the next day I went to Gold to do a photo shoot in Venice. And I remember Nasser was there on the bike and he had gone out to Cheesecake Factory with us the night prior after my victory and I remember people talking about he ate like three pieces of cheesecake and it was three weeks from the show and I remember he did like two or three hours in one session on the bike at Gold's Gym Venice that next day and I remember someone telling me yeah he's on the bike for like three hours which amazed me because as you know we're not supposed to be on more than an hour at a time and so it kind of shocked me that, you know, number one, he'd go eat cheesecake three weeks off from the show. Number two, three hours of cardio. And then, of course, he goes to the Olympia and he gets third. In third place, competitor number one, Nasser El Sambadi.
the target or goal. The goal is uh, to place high enough and to prove to myself that I'm one of the best. In second place, they will present those awards to NASA El Sambate. <laughs> <laughs>